commander of the Iranian Air Force Brig. Gen. Hamid Vahidi said on Friday that Iran needs to acquire new Russian-made Sukhoi fighter jets, however, the date of their supply depends on the government's decision. As for Su jets, we need them, but we don't know when they will be delivered to our squadron, it depends on the decision of the country's senior officials, Vahidi was quoted as saying by the Thusneem News Agency. Prior to the purchase, the government will have to send Iranian pilots to Russia to receive instructions on how to operate the jets. Graduates will then be able to instruct other pilots on the use of the warplanes, the official added. Vahidi also pointed out that Iran's domestically manufactured Khauser fighter is currently undergoing final trials, noting that the production of a squadron of these particular jets is planned in the near future. The domestically manufactured Yasin training aircraft is likewise scheduled to be introduced into the Iranian Air Force in the near future, the commander noted. Vahidi added that Iran can overhaul any available aircraft, that in 2022 alone, a total of 30 aircraft were repaired, and that number is projected to rise this year. Iran is prepared to work with friendly nations to train UAV operators, including as part of the academic program at the Military Academy of the Iranian Air Force. Brig. Gen. Vahidi said. An UAV faculty was established at the Shahid Sattari University of Aeronautical Engineering, and we have been training drone operators for several years. And we have announced to friendly countries that we are ready to cooperate with them in this field. Vahidi was quoted as saying by the Thusneem News Agency. According to the report, the commander of the Iranian Air Force also stated that Tehran was creating UAVs that were invisible to adversary radio location systems. Iran and Russia have been undertaking measures and agreements to boost their economic, trade, energy, and military cooperation. In March, Iran's mission to the UN told Sputnik that Iran has finalized a deal to purchase Su-35 fighter jets from Russia. However, information on the number of aircraft and the timing of their delivery remained classified. Following the end of the Iran-Iraq War in 1988, Iran asked a bunch of countries to buy fighter jets, and Russia said it was open to selling, the mission said. The Su-35 fighter jets are technically acceptable to Iran, so after October 2020 and the end of Iran's restrictions on conventional weapons purchases, UN Resolution 2231, Iran finalized the deal to buy them, Tehran's delegation added. White House Strategic Communications Coordinator John Kirby said on May 15 that Iran wants to acquire billions of dollars worth of military equipment from Russia, which is already offering Iran unprecedented defense cooperation including on missiles, electronics, air defense. In total, Iran is seeking billions of dollars worth of military equipment from Russia. This is a full-scale defense partnership that is harmful to Ukraine, to the region, the Middle East, and to the international community. According to the coordinator, Iran is also aiming to purchase attack helicopters, radars, and combat trainer aircraft from Russia.
Russia has already expressed interest in Iran's track record of aircraft development amidst pressure resulting from foreign sanctions. Earlier in April, despite Western sanctions, Russian flag carrier Aeroflot, for the first time, deployed an Airbus A330-300 to Iran for landing gear maintenance. In March, Iran's mission to the UN told Sputnik back in March that a deal has been reached by Iran to purchase Russian Su-35 fighter jets from Russia, but the delivery time and quantity have been classified. Later that month, Iranian Foreign Minister Hossein Amr Abdalian assured that Tehran and Moscow are boosting their cooperation, including in the military field. In April, the Iranian ambassador to Russia, Kazem Jalali, said that the bilateral relations between his country and Moscow have been reaching new levels in light of both countries having a similar and sometimes unanimous approach toward regional and international issues. Today, relations between the Islamic Republic of Iran and the Russian Federation are reaching a new level, Jalali said during an academic event held in the Russian capital with a focus on the Persian language and Persian literature. Even Iran's first vice president Mohammad Mokber said last month during a meeting with Russian President Special Aid Igor Levitin that both countries can become the export center of some food items in the region with joint production and investment.